The Figure Eye Stand series is an assembled figure series that features precise colour coding and excellent movability using multicolour moulding. This is just their official word, however. I'm sure it plays better to ear in Japanese, but what really is this series? The kits in Figure Eye Standard recreate what these anime characters are really meant to be in real life. When looking at the whole range of what they provide, you can really tell that they wanted to make these characters' muscles and effects work like they are seen on TV. Let's see how they fare later. First, let's take a look at the lineup, see what they are trying to recreate. It's impressive. Bandai really caught the attention of these brands, albeit they have established these ties before for kits that they have made. But this is exciting and impressive for fans of the series that they showcase. Here is the lineup. It is extensive. You've got Sword Art Online, multiple series of Dragon Ball Z, Digimon, Ultraman, Kamen Rider, Gundam Bill Divers, Active Raid, and even Naruto. So if their goal is to recreate the human body type with plastic kits, how do they do it? Like with the Labo series, Bandai are trying to move their game forward. They talk about four technologies that they have used to make a more refined and realistic kit that really achieves the human form for the kits. 1. Armoured Texture Creation 2. A Muscle Build-Up System 3. An LED Lighting System and 4. The Creation of Original Works For an Armoured Texture Creation, in Kamen Rider they use Gloss Injection and Extra Finish Technology to create a realistic and pristine armoured texture to match what these characters really look like. The gloss and the metallic paints used really pop and it's impressive how they have created this in a snap together kit. So for a muscle build up system, for muscular kits like Dragon Ball, the pursuit of realistic looking muscles and contours was the goal with these kits. They call it the complete verification of the human body structure. So I guess they were really trying to just get those contours right and make a realistic 3D mould for these kits. Ultraman brought the adoption of silver metal parts, as seen in Kamen Rider. These were essential to create a realistic looking set of armour and that is a real achievement for Bandai. There was another challenge with this series and they had to create a new technology to be able to do this. That was the LED units. These are in a number of units and are really amazing to have inside the body of the kit without compromising its shape or articulation. Using clear parts they are able to funnel light up the neck and out of the eyes. This really helps them achieve their goal of creating the Ultraman body type accurately. There are other technologies that Bandai utilises to recreate the ultimate character. This was magnetic parts. We see this with Naruto, so that he can use his chakra to stick to metal objects. In Heisei Kamen Rider Kuga, a special movable mechanism is mounted on the waist to reproduce the landing pose after a somersault and kick. Not only kick action, but also various action scenes in the series can be reproduced. So finally, what are they referring to when they speak of updating the knowledge of creation with original designs? Well, this is rather tricky, but it's where they use the background and world of the characters to create designs that do not go against the lore of that character or their real image. One example is the Mars 133 Kai weapon from the Ultraman B-Type limiter release version. This is a new weapon, but is not out of place in the Ultraman world. Another cited by Bandai is shown with the Android 18 kit, where special Android parts, specifically the internal self-destruct device, was actually created by Bandai. So that's the four technologies, but one other mention is the new amplified figure eye standard kits. They plan to amplify the charm of characters in plastic model form, while also keeping in mind the original spirit of the design, along with the unique elements of each character. For Figure Eye Standard, War Greymon Amplified, they asked for the cooperation and help of Kenji Watanabe, who is a long-time Digimon designer. So I think this is them just saying, look, we can make this look even more realistic, but we need to slap another label on it. And yes, they are definitely trying to make this series progress as it moves forward. We have Nami, one of their first creations for build divers, then they moved on to Ayame, and they're not the same series, but you can definitely see the difference with Asuna from Sword Art Online. The details have changed and have progressed. I would say with Nami she looks a bit more clunky, but as you progress it looks a lot better. So to sum up all these technologies and what they are trying to achieve, Figure Eye Standard is a brand that specialises in creating the human form in a plastic model kit. Specifically its tag, when written in Japanese, is proudly producing human body type plastic models. So they are just trying to make them look as real as possible using new technologies and great design. Figure Eye Standard 
It's not new now, but it is still creating new techniques and trying to really make the characters that it depicts as real as they are on screen.